Hello, everyone. During the Passover Seders, many of us will be guided by what our sages taught long ago. Begin telling the ancient story by referring to our degradation, but conclude by sharing our glory. What did the sages mean by degradation? The Haggadah, which tells the story about the exodus from Egypt, includes two interpretations of degradation. The first interpretation is Avadim Hayinu Lefaro Bimitzrayim. We were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. The second interpretation of degradation is Mitchila Ovdei Avodazara Hayu Avotenu, and some would add Imotenu. From the beginning, our ancestors, both men and women, were idol worshipers. So how do we distinguish between the interpretations? Slavery reflects a condition externally imposed, a reality which the Jews of Egypt could not control. On the other hand, worshiping alien gods and being dismissive of their tradition was a choice our ancestors consciously made. I believe that both interpretations have great merit. Referring to our imposed slavery in Egypt, we live at a time when the state of Israel is strong, yet constantly threatened by Hamas, condemned by supporters of the anti-Israel boycott, and vilified by UN organizations which ignore the most egregious human rights violations throughout the globe. In a few weeks, we will commemorate Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Remembrance Day, a time when millions of Jews were first enslaved and then exterminated simply because they were Jews. From personal experience and from history, we appreciate only too well the degradation of imposed slavery. Recalling the degradation of our slavery to Pharaoh, therefore, is not merely a reference to our inglorious past. It is also a personal declaration to resist being slaves ever again. Never again can we allow any modern Pharaoh to deny freedom and dignity to the Jewish people. The second interpretation of degradation suggests that vigilance in defending our physical freedom means little unless we also embrace our spiritual and cultural freedoms and do so proudly. We certainly approach Judaism from multiple perspectives, but whatever the approach, we can never be dismissive of our Jewish heritage. So by including both definitions of degradation in our Seder story, we resolve to defend any Jewish community physically threatened by an external enemy and to guard against any self-imposed assimilation which threatens our spiritual and cultural future. This Passover, may we all, in whatever positive and reaffirming way we choose, tell the glorious story about our Jewish past, present, and future. Chag Sameach v'kasher, have a meaningful feast of freedom, a feast which will be celebrated by all of the Jewish people.